The Font group in the Home tab in the ribbon contains a variety of very useful commands. For example, I might press Ctrl A and select all the document. What I really like about Word 2010 is the Live Preview feature. That is, when I go to choose a font and I roll over them, it actually shows me what that font would look like should I choose it. And this saves you a lot of time going back and forth trying to find a decent font. And you just scroll down and look through the list. So I might choose this font. The same is true of the font size drop down. As I go to the font size and I roll down, it shows me what the font size would do should I choose it. So I'll go for 12. If I want to enlarge the heading, what I really like is the grow. Every time I click the grow font button, it grows. And so I can grow the font until it visually takes up the whole width of the page. But should it start to wrap, I'll use the shrink font to bring it back down until it's just the size I want. What's particularly good about the grow and the shrink font buttons is if I select all the text and I shrink the font, what it does is it still keeps the relative difference in size. Notice the heading and the text are still relatively different even though they're both been shrunk. And I can grow and keep the relative difference in size as well. This is great if you want to try and make it fit on one page. Just shrink the font a little bit. Another handy button in the font group is the change case. If I decided I should have typed that in uppercase, I won't retype it, I'll choose uppercase. Or I can change it to lowercase. Sentence case if I just want the decorating, just the first word to have a capital. Or I could capitalize each word, which is title case. So this is a very handy button too. Of course you've got bold, italics and underline which you're used to, but the underline now has a drop down. And when you go to the drop down, you can choose a variety of underlining styles, like double underline. You can even change the underline color. And the live preview shows you as you roll around what the color would look like should you choose it. Strike through is what this button does. If I click this button, it puts a line which indicates to the reader I want that struck out. And I can turn it off. Superscript and subscript are very handy. I'm just making myself a bit of room and now I need 90 degrees. I'll type 90, turn the superscript on, which is the X with the little 2 lifted, do a little O and then turn the superscript off to go back to normal. If I need centimetres squared, I'll go centimetres, turn the superscript on, do a 2 and turn the superscript off. So superscripts are really easy. And so a subscript. If I want H2O, I'll do a capital H, turn the subscript on, which is the X with the little 2 dropped, do a 2, turn it off, and do a capital O. And I've got H2O. So superscript and subscript are really easy with these two buttons here. If I want to change my font color, as we've sort of seen earlier, I can go to the font color drop down and as I roll over the various palette options, I can see what it would do to my text should I choose that color. If I want to apply a text effect, that's what this button does. If I click the text effects button, I can roll over and see what it would do to my text should I choose that particular effect. I can also highlight paragraphs if I wish, so I'll turn the highlighter on by choosing a colour and then simply drag over the text that I want to highlight. And then turn it off. And so those are the options in the font group. But if you need an option above and beyond that collection, remember you have the font dialog box launcher, the little arrow in the bottom right corner. And if you go into here, there's even more options such as double strike through and such as small caps. You also have advanced options for those of you looking for kerning or character spacing. And I'll go cancel. 
But if I wish to clear all the formatting from my document and start again because it's in a real mess, I'll press Ctrl A for example, and this button here will clear the formatting from whatever text you have selected. So I'll clear the formatting. To get rid of the highlighting, I'd have to go into No Colour. And I've removed all the formatting from this document. And that's the font group.